राम राम वेलकम टू द वाई स्टोरीज आई एम युवरागी एंड हियर आई एम विद येट अनादर स्टोरी ऑन द फेस्टिवल ऑफ कलर्स येस होली होली इज सच एन अमेजिंग फेस्टिवल नॉट ओनली डज इट मार्क द विक्ट्री ऑफ गुड ओवर ईवल बट इट ऑल्सो सिम्बॉलिफाइज द चेंज ऑफ सीजन आवर फेस्टिवल्स आर सो ब्यूटिफुली वोवन अराउंड द ईयर दैट दे टेल अस एंड गिव अस अ रीजन टू सेलिब्रेट द चेंज ऑफ सीजन thirdly it also brings us all together as a community breaking the barriers of caste community age everything everyone as a community comes together under one platform to sing dance eat and celebrate together the festival of colors and lastly it reiterate the importance of colors in our life be it the food that we eat the colors that we wear or the colors that we embrace in our everyday life so my dear children coming to the story of holi once long long ago there was a king called hiranyakashyap hiranyakashyap was a powerful king and he prayed relentlessly to lord brahma and he prayed and he prayed then he prayed on empty stomach and he continued praying and he prayed on standing on one leg lord brahma was very very pleased with all his prayers and he emerged and asked hiranyakashyap to ask for a boon so hiranyakashyap said oh lord brahma grant me the boon to become immortal <clears throat> brahma said well hiranyakashyap i cannot grant you the boon of immortality whoever is born must die but you can ask for anything else so hiranyakashyap was very cunning he thought and he thought and he said okay lord brahma grant me the wish that i cannot be killed either in the day or in the night i cannot be killed by a man or an animal i cannot be killed inside my house or outside my house i cannot be killed on earth or in the sky i cannot be killed by any weapon well according to him he had covered all bases so lord brahma could not refuse and he granted him his wish and once this boon was granted hiranyakashyap was boasting of arrogance and pride he felt that he was no less than the gods themselves so he proclaimed to all his people no one will worship to the gods everyone will worship to me because i am immortal well most of his people in the kingdom were devotees of lord vishnu so in his mind he had labeled lord vishnu as his enemy his arch nemesis i don't know about you but i know so many people little children older people that claim that oh that one's my enemy so just like that in his naivety he had labeled lord vishnu as his enemy and he banned his people from worshiping lord vishnu but what he didn't know that the biggest worshipper and devotee of lord vishnu was living in his house under his roof none other than his own son prahlad well how did that happen so when hiranyakashyap was busy praying to lord brahma his expecting wife kayadhu who was with a child took shelter in a rishi's ashram so morning and evening all she and her unborn child heard were chants prayers songs in the praise of lord vishnu stories highlighting his might and his benevolence so even before little prahlad was born he was already on the path of devotion and prayer to lord vishnu so when hiranyakashyap found out about his son's devotion to lord vishnu he was at a cross road how well at one point he is asking his people to stop worshiping vishnu while his own son is an ardent follower of vishnu 
How could he have that? He had to put a stop to it. So he tried everything. Prahlad was thrown from the top of a hill. Nothing happened to him. He was poisoned. Nothing at all. He was locked up in a room full of snakes and he still came out unscathed. Imagine the anger and frustration of Hiranyakashap. So that's when he called upon his sister Holika. Now Holika had the boon that no fire can burn her as long as she uses her powers for a good cause. Well, in her head, she was using it for a good cause to help her own brother. So Holika came. She sat on a pyre with little Prahlad in her lap. When the pyre was lit, not even a hair got burnt for Prahlad. But she was feeling the heat of the fire. Her body was turning black and even before she realized what was happening, her entire being was burnt down to ashes. Which is why we also celebrate Holika Dehen on the Purnima of the month of Fagan, which is one day before we play Holi with colors. So it again marks the victory of good over evil and Hiranyakashyap was raging with anger. He didn't know what to do. So he said, pacing up and down to Prahlad, You claim your Lord Vishnu is everywhere? Do you think he's present in this pillar? Pointing at a pillar. Prahlad said, Yes, of course. So he, Hiranyakashyap, picked up his mace and struck really hard on that pillar. And the pillar came crushing down and he said, Look! I kill your Vishnu here. And from the crumbling pillar emerged a roaring sound. Sound so terrifying that everyone present there who heard it was trembling with fear. Out of that pillar emerged Lord Narsingh. Lord Vishnu in the incarnation in the form of Nar Singh. Nar which means Human Singh means lion. So the body of a human and the head of a lion is the avatar that Lord Vishnu took to protect his worshipper little Prahlad. So the time of the day was evening. Neither was it day nor was it night. And Lord Narsing dragged Hiranyakashyap at the entrance of his house. So he was neither inside the house nor was he outside his house. He picked up Hiranyakashyap and put him on his lap. And now he was neither on earth nor was he on sky. Lastly, he used his fingernails to cut open his chest. And that's how Hiranyakashyap's all conditions were met and yet he met his end at the hands of Lord Vishnu in the avatar of Lord Narsingh. Now Narsingh Bhagwan was so angry that nothing was calming him down. Even after killing Hiranyakashyap, he was raging with fury. And that's when little Prahlad touched his feet. And he touched his feet and all his anger evaporated. And he picked up little Prahlad and put him on his lap and licked his face. So many places where we have the idols of Lord Narsing, we see that he is sitting with little Prahlad in his lap. So that was the story of Holi. And I hope you enjoyed it and understood how it marks the victory of good over evil. Now coming to the colors. Well... It also marks the importance of colors in our life. So every color has a significance. For instance, the color red symbolifies devotion, power. The color blue symbolifies limitless. For instance, a lot of our gods like Sri Ram, Krishna and Shiv are depicted in blue colors. Their skin color is blue. That is nothing but their aura which is limitless. There is no end to it just like the sky and the ocean. 
the color green symbolifies prosperity and productivity the color yellow is symbolic of knowledge and steadiness so just like all these colors we must embrace them in our lives be it our food be it our clothes or be it our everyday lifestyle the colors that we see around us so do surround yourself with lots of colors starting this holy i hope you have a blissful celebration until we meet again ram ram and yes don't forget to like share and subscribe ram ram